All this week, we're looking at how climate change is fueling wildfires like the ones that have blanketed Boston in smoke. This summer, we've seen several days of hazy, murky skies due to wildfires in Canada. So today, I spoke with environmental correspondent David Schechter about what he's learned. So, David, in your reporting, you found a single tree can tell scientists a lot about wildfires, which is fascinating. What can you tell us about that? Well, what's amazing about a single tree is how many times in a fire, I mean, in a forest, it can have caught fire every 10 to 30 years, we saw. And so some of these fires cleared out the forest floor and all the dead trees and the brush, which prevented bigger fires from happening. The problem is that our national policy for 100 years was to keep fire out of the forest. So that allowed all these trees now to build up as fuel. And when now when we do have fires, they are much bigger and hotter. They threaten trees. They kill trees now that had actually evolved to coexist with fire in the forest. We, we, we probably interrupted a crucial cycle, right, with all good intentions. Um, what we surprised did. you the we most did. working on this project? It's a good question. I think at one point we went to a f what I guess it had been a forest. To me, it just looked like some hills. And the scientist said, there was a fire here 23 years ago, and nothing is growing back. And it was shocking to see that because the reason was that the fires were so destructive and so hot, killed all the trees. There was no opportunity for little seedlings to fall and regrow. And now in the era of climate change, where this hillside is now a few degrees warmer than it would have been, say, 50 or 100 years ago, the little seedlings, when they actually go in and plant new seedlings, they don't grow. They just get fried because they can't handle the heat. It was really shocking to see that. So what about solutions? What are we looking at? Uh, it's a complicated problem, obviously, but there are some interesting solutions. The one that uh, I think is getting a lot of traction is a technological solution. They're developing software to quickly pinpoint where fires are starting so they can say, it's right there, here's the perimeter. If we attack it now and hit it, we can take this out in 30 minutes. If you lose control of it and it's several hours, sometimes they burn for weeks and weeks or even months. And so some interesting uses of technology to address sort of an old problem that's emerged to be even worse than we ever have seen it, fire. Well, David, good to see you and thank you so much. So David's series begins tomorrow night at 5 with more on how climate change and Forest Service policies are leading to more extreme wildfires. But the part about the technology was interesting. It's sort of like how Doppler radar now helps yeah. us predict hurricanes, right? And they could apply that to wildfires. And sometimes this is happening in just vast wilderness. Yeah. So to be able to pinpoint it and put it out quickly would be a huge difference, right? right?